Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Welcome back to Business Innovators Radio. I'm your host, Frank Falker. My guest today is Justin Brown. Justin is the co-founder of Primal Video, which is a video education and resources company located in Brisbane, Australia. Justin, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me on. I, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to study under you for several months. I mentioned uh, you had appeared on a previous uh, appearance here on Radio Free Enterprise, and I learned a lot from you. And uh, it's little wonder because uh, you are a genuine guru. I'm going to, I got to read some statistics here. Uh, when it comes to video production and YouTube, you have almost 700,000 subscribers currently, 328 videos posted, of which I've noticed several have over a million views each, and uh, and over 60 million total video views on YouTube. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And you clearly know what you're talking about when it comes to both video production and distribution. Your company's motto is grow your brand and scale your revenue with video. That's exactly what I want to talk about today is how people can do that. Now, uh, you have your Primal Video Accelerator program that helps people do exactly uh, what your motto states. Can you tell us a little bit about, I guess on a general level, what people learn who enroll in the Accelerator program? Yeah, perfect. And again, thanks for having me on. So our accelerator program is kind of the next step from our YouTube content. So we put out one free video on YouTube every week talking around um, video creation, around growing it on YouTube and also on uh, around the monetization or the revenue side of this as well. So inside of Accelerate, there's kind of the deep dive into those. It is our playbook on how we run Primal Video. It's our processes, our systems, our checklists, the tools and things that we use to run Primal Video and that we, you you know, help and share with our clients as well. So that's everything from our entire keyword research process, how we come up with topic ideas that we know people are searching for, uh, right through to how do we optimize our videos and what we're saying inside of our videos to help our viewers stick around in the video, but also to help YouTube place our content in front of the right people. And then obviously through to the monetization stuff where we dive into uh, affiliate revenue and revenue streams that you can add into your business, even if you're just starting out on things like YouTube, right through to email strategy and how we grow our email list off the back of YouTube. So it really is the playbook of how we run our business. And as uh, having had the opportunity to study under you and uh, for several months, I learned so much. My, my objective going in was to up my game and as being a video shooter and editor and uh, using edited, ed- edited video to market my services. And I found that just virtually any company could and should be using video to market their services. Can you give me an idea? This is kind of a, a curveball question for you, but why do you think more companies don't use video? I think it's not as easy uh, as some of the other uh, avenues that people have to to get content out there or to, to show up online. I'd say one of the easiest ways is just to run an ad or boost a post on things like Facebook or excuse me or a Google ad. But the problem is that with the, they're kind of pay to play. They're going to drop off after you stop throwing money at them. Whereas we like YouTube, we like to look at YouTube as the long game. So you might be creating videos, but not seeing that initial traction for your business or for your brand that you might like. But you've got to stick with it. YouTube rewards consistency, and it also rewards you if you're doing research and things up front and creating the videos that your ideal audience, your ideal target customers are looking for. And I mean, if, it is kind of almost the thing is like, People are going to be searching for stuff. How do you make sure that you show up as the as the solution or as the person that can help or the company that they need to go to instead of your competitors? So that's the stuff that we teach. How do you get your stuff to show up? And people are looking for that information. I mean, that's the thing that I think a lot of companies miss, particularly smaller companies, is that their clients, their prospects are searching every day on Google, on YouTube looking for the answers to problems like my basement has a leak in it or my roof has a leak in it or there's, you know, my dog has fleas. God only knows. There's so many things, millions of topics and questions that people are asking every day. And people, providers who are out there with videos that answer those questions are winning the day. 
Um, can you give us any examples either of students of yours or companies that you're aware of that have had great success following your program and seen it generate uh, sales increases for them? Yeah, so we've had everything from people teaching online like Excel courses, so they're teaching to businesses primarily and putting out a lot of the stuff that they teach and sell in their courses as those um, the, the fishing lines in the ocean, so to say, putting them out there onto YouTube and Google so that people can find them. Because what do people do? They look for stuff. They want to get a doctor Google first to, to self-diagnose or see if they can figure stuff out for themselves <laughs> long before they might be ready to invest in a product or a course. Or they want to compare two products side by side. So they'll watch a review video. So this really can apply to anything. We've also we've said Excel uh, right through to personal trainers and people in the fitness space, which you would imagine is a really highly saturated market with Lots of people just posting workout videos and those kinds of things. But following the strategies that we teach, we've got a lot of successful people that, that have jumped straight to the top of YouTube and Google. And so much so that we have people that have stopped even doing their personal training stuff just to focus online now because the revenue streams wow. and stuff that they've built, the audience and the engagement all the way through, they're now able to build the business that they want, just sharing and talking about the stuff that they're interested in. And that's great. And, and they've totally decoupled hours from dollars. That uh, by putting in yeah. this consistent effort that you teach, uh, eventually it's like a flywheel that spins faster and faster. All at once, you don't have to push it any much, uh, you know, maybe once or twice a week, and it's just going to keep rolling and generating money. Now, one thing uh, you and I both have, have uh, you know, worked with video for years and years. And in the last 10 years or so, since the advent of the iPhone particularly, the fact that there is this incredibly high quality digital wide screen high definition camera right in your pocket every minute is nothing short of amazing uh well at least to somebody like me and probably to you as well we we get used to it over time but with that in mind here we have this tool this powerful tool that not only can capture the video but can distribute it worldwide um why do you think more people particularly business people, aren't using that tool. Now, you mentioned it's not as easy as you think, but do you think there's a particular rub, there's a particular limiting step like editing that's really people are really getting hung up on? Well, I think it's almost good to convince people first that their phone is good enough. I mean, they already know that it's good enough to make their family videos and those little maybe Instagram posts and those sorts of things. But the biggest fear that people have with any sort of video creation is how they're going to be, you know, is the fear of judgment, you know, how they're going to be perceived, how they're going to look, how they're going to sound. Hmm. And no one wants to put out something where they're not in, you know, the best light. Um, so that comes down to a lot of things. It comes down to your camera, your lighting, what you're saying, um, right through to, to audio and editing and everything. But so we like to, to call the, you know, your iPhones, your Android devices. These are your excuse busters because you're, what you're carrying in your pocket, <laughs> as you've said, is, is more than good enough quality we have a video on our channel that is be almost five years old now it was shot on the front facing camera on an iphone 5 which is uh from 2012 mm -hmm. so that video is still getting hundreds of views per day and people wow. are still blown away with the quality and it's not even the good camera the one on the back and it's a phone from 2012 so i'm here to remove your excuses any day of the week you've already got everything that you need to get started uh, but go into it with a plan and look at the content that you're creating and look at what your viewers actually want from you and start to create those videos the biggest mistake that I see people make, uh, especially for looking to bring, you know, using this as a business tool to bring in leads and customers and those sorts of things, is that they'll want to speak specifically about their product or service. But the problem is, that's the solution. Where people are looking for is the problem. So it's not just about creating videos around the solution. People don't know what that is, so they, they find it hard to search for it. Talk to the problem. Um, how to overcome this. Best way to do this. Top options for solving this problem and then introduce your those viewers to your solution to you you know the, one of the best ways i found is with this product and hey you can pick it up over here or this is a review of that product to solve that problem so they're talking talk you need to talk to this uh talk to the problem not the solution uh that's the biggest place that we see people get stuck that's funny that you say that because if they knew the solution they wouldn't have to search for it 
That's it. <laughs> That's but we, we started in exactly the same place. I mean, the first videos that we were putting out on our channel, I was like, this is an amazing tip for video editing. And it's going to, if people learn these keyboard shortcuts, it's going to change the game for them. But no one could find those videos uh, because they didn't know what to search for to find it. And we didn't know what to title it based on what, you know, mm -hmm. it was all wrong. And this is where we see a lot of people start as well. Even though that's the stuff that you know is going to change the game for your people, they need to know, take a step back and say, but what would you search for to find it? What would they mm -hmm. search for? What, what does this solve? That's really how you can get well ahead of most people that are uploading content on YouTube these days. And your video accelerator program does such a great job of explaining that in further detail than you and I have time for today. And then going through step by step. All right, here's how you figure it out. Here's where you find the keywords. Here's how you test. Uh, here's how you improve over time. One of the great things I, I learned was that you guys just go ahead and put something out there. It's more important to put it out there. And let's face it, you learn a lot more when you fail than when you succeed. And then learn from that and then do a better job the next time. Um, and so it's, I just cannot recommend your, uh, program too highly because it starts from the ground floor and then goes all the way up to whatever you'd like. And I think also people can uh, go to the Primal Video YouTube channel and see a lot of the things that you talk about in practice. Look at the titles. Look at the, f and you also teach how to structure the, the, what you're going to say in a way that it's going to bring people in. And uh, anyway, I just think uh, it's a great program and I wish more people would engage with it because then they can let go of those excuses. I like that excuse buster uh, expression. Now, what coming into it, what uh, just give us a general overview of how the accelerator program is, is structured and how you walk people through from absolute beginner to YouTube hero. Okay, so we're, we've been in a lot of courses um, and we, we invest in a lot of courses continuously. It's all about, um, in, in those courses, you probably find that there's one or two little gems or nuggets of gold, you know? You know what? That one thing has just changed the game for me and was worth every cent of the course. So we want to try and make it easy for our people in our program to find those nuggets of gold as quickly as they can. We don't want them to go through hours and hours of content and, mm. you know, starting at module one, working all the way through to find these things. We just want to say, here they are. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Because these are the things like the whole 80 20 principle. This is the stuff we want you to have results with this stuff fast. So we really do call it like this is the fast track to, to seeing success with video in your business. And that's um, uh, it really is about overcoming those excuses. As you said, starting. Uh, there's a lot of people that go into courses and they learn, they consume the knowledge, but they don't actually put things into play. And that's really when you're going to learn. Uh, know that your first videos you're going to produce are probably going to be your worst videos you're going to produce, but look at that 1% improvement over time. And that's what we help you with all the way through, where to improve, where to start, but also where to improve and where to monitor, where to track and, um, and, and grow from there. So we haven't designed it as a start at module one, work all the way through. This is a choose your own adventure. So we make mm -hmm. it really easy for you to find the areas where you're stuck right now, whether it's thumbnails, whether it's actually what to say in your videos or shooting your videos, get unstuck with that. And then you can backfill around with the rest when you've got time. That's great. And I think that's an excellent approach in this topic area. Now, I like to say that virtually any professional could benefit from and succeed at video marketing. What's your take on that statement? I, I agree 100 percent. This is something that we've I've never seen a niche or an industry or someone that couldn't benefit from this. Um, it really is. And if you're questioning that, so that's all right for you. I, I want to get people in the door in my actual business. Or it doesn't. <laughs> I can't see how it fits for me. Take a step back and say, are there any things that your potential clients or customers would be searching for online? Anything that they could go to Google for, to YouTube for something that they need to figure out or want to know, then you could be the one that shows up off the back of those. You could be the one in that first, second, third spot on Google and YouTube uh, for, for those pains or problems or issues that your potential clients and customers are solving. And that's kind of our approach from there. Let's find those topics and let's get you to the top in those results. Yeah, you could be that person and you should be that person because at least as of now, the vast majority of your competitors are not doing this. And you could be that person, particularly if your business is locally oriented, like a home service provider, an 
air conditioning company, floor replacement, roofer, what have you. Um, people have a lot of questions about those things. And these are big investments in their home, which is a very important property for them. If you can be the educator and advocate for their success with whatever their problem is, they're going to do business with you. There's, there's just, it, it makes you the easy choice. And uh, it's just difficult for me, I guess, to see why people don't do it. I guess that from a cost benefit analysis, it appears as though there's going to be a lot more pain learning how to use video than benefit coming from it. Um, do you have, by chance, uh, this is, uh, you didn't see this coming, but like a breakthrough experience that one of your students had where they thought, this will never work. And then boom, it worked. Wait. We, we, we have a lot all the time. People come in, they're like, you know, for the $37 a month, I'll give it a go, but I might pick up one, t- one thing or two things. And then those are the people that start to see results really, really quickly by just implementing the simple stuff, like making sure that their YouTube channel is actually set up right. Like simple things. It's not something that people normally show you. You just go through and create an account, but there's lots of little things that you can set up in there to again help YouTube understand your content so that it could put it out in front of the right, in front of the right people. So it really is about helping your viewers and helping YouTube really uh, understand your content in a way that it's going to show up in front of the right people. So we, we have a lot of people that come in kind of just I'm going to give it a go. And then the ones that take action, they're the ones that, that, that see the results mm. with it. Same as any business. Um, it really is about, you know, done is better than perfect. I want to see you go through. I want to see you create your first video. But also, likewise, if you're someone who's further along the journey, there's so many little things that you could now test and optimize because you've got that traffic coming through. So we help you with that as well. So how can somebody engage with uh, Primal Video and your accelerator program, what's the, what's the best thing for them to do? So, I mean, the, the, normally how we run it, we have an intake off the back of our, uh, off the back of some free training. And uh, I can give you a link to our next uh, free training workshop, okay, great. in which case mm-hmm. we'll take, we'll, we'll talk through some of the blueprints and strategies and how the whole thing works and how everything fits together. And then there's an invitation to join off the back of it. Now we keep the doors closed to accelerate us so that we can focus on working with our members on the inside. And we have set intake periods throughout uh, throughout the year. So um, the best bet would be there'll be a link. Maybe I'll give you a link behind to put below this video or around this video. Great. And uh, at least you can join the wait list there to be notified. Great. I appreciate that. And I will put it, this video is going to appear all over the place. So I'll make sure that that link follows it wherever it goes. Um, we're just about out of time, Justin. I wanted to ask you on the way out, is there like one big thing, one big piece of advice that you would share with a uh, business owner, uh, either, you know, here's why you really got to do it, or here's what you're going to be surprised to find out, or I don't know, just one, one last thing you'd like to leave them with. Okay, so I say one big thing is that the power of YouTube, and one of the biggest reasons that we love it is because you invest the time to create the content and your content sticks around. You've got places mm. like... LinkedIn, places like Instagram, Facebook, whatever, right? You, you post on there and your post could stay a couple of days, a couple of hours, in some cases, a couple of minutes before it's gone from people's news feeds and, and or, you know, uh, from, from their, from their vision, from you're not able to get it back in front of them. Whereas we like YouTube. YouTube is a search engine. We get a lot of traffic even through Google because Google owns YouTube. So people are searching for things, maybe not even a video. But our videos show up and they show up above the paid ads on Google, which is really interesting. So Mm. it's really easy to get your content to the top of both Google and YouTube, but also the lifetime of your content. It's literally measured in years, not days or weeks or in some cases, minutes on some of these platforms. So that's why we love it. And that's why we're a big advocate for it. Justin Brown, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me on. Thanks again to Justin and thank you for joining us. Until next time, I'm Frank Felker saying, I'll see you on the radio. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.